I'm Alexander Jones. I'm a group leader at the Sainsbury Laboratory in Cambridge. And um, I started my PhD in, in Berkeley um, back in 2004, um, where I did my um, dissertation work on plant microbe interactions in Mary Wildemuth's lab. And then from there I went to uh, um, the Carnegie Institution of Plant Biology at Stanford um, and uh, in the lab of Wolf Frommer. And in Wolf's lab I sought out to develop new technologies so we could study uh, plant hormones uh, with higher resolution. And um, alongside that I, I worked on a protein-protein interaction project but at large scale. So actually it was a, we called it the Membrane Interactome Network Database was the result of that project. And so those two projects were the focus of my postdoctoral work. Um, but the first one is what I have taken on with me in my new group. Um, so what, what, it, what the fundamental basis of it is engineering new biosensors to measure hormones at high resolution in vivo. Um, so we have biosensors for ABA and now gibberellin as well. And we're always looking to generate uh, new technologies as well. So part of my, my lab is also synthetic biology. I've always been interested in living things and um, so ever since I was very small I knew I wanted to be some sort of biologist, whether a paleontologist or microbiologist. But sometime in high school I um, started gardening and actually just planted some sunflower seeds and just seeing them grow through the soil and change their shape and then um, kind of fell in love with the idea of growing plants and, and interacting with plants in a sort of physical way. Um, and over the course of a few years of learning how to garden, there was all these challenges and interesting ways that plants would do something non-optimally or optimally, and you had to get to know what kind of light they like, what kind of moisture they like, and I just thought all those things were really interesting, and I really wanted to know why and how that was all playing out. Um, so it started from gardening and then got into more, I was really got interested in, in mechanisms for all these things, and, and so that led me to plant biology. My field I like to define as the systems biology of hormone uh, metabolism. And so that actually ends up covering a lot of topics, which is my intent of defining the field that way. Um, but what I think is what we're doing is, is kind of touching on some of the hot topics, one of which is, okay, we understand a lot of signaling, but we don't understand how it plays out on a cellular level or a spatiotemporal level. Um, and these are really interesting questions, but we so that's, that's one of the hot topics, is how is everything playing out in this tissue or, or that time point? Um, what's the signaling path you, pathway here? Um, and then the other aspect of it is, um, that, our, that our group also touches on, is the synthetic biology. So sometimes we have an interesting question, but we don't have the tools we need to answer that question. Um, and so we need to generate new tools in order to um, attack the, the exact question that we're interested in. So I think those two, um, going uh, high resolution, going spatiotemporal is a very important question for a lot of different fields. Um, and then also new tools to be able to get at those questions. Well, I think my research benefits society now is just fundamental science. We're trying to discover new things. We're trying to make, I mean, the new tools that affect other scientists. Um, I think we touch on some of the questions that are you know, innately, cur um, our curiosity is shared by other people um, in terms of how plants work. Um, and in the future, I really, I mean, the main goal is to actually generate um, in, uh, interventions into crop systems so that we could actually improve yields or uh, climate resilience of our cropping systems. We're not there yet, but that is the end goal. In science, I have a lot of role models, um, so it's, it's actually a tough question. Of course, my mentors are all major role models for me, and I do try and emulate lots of things about the way they do science. Um, but just to pick someone outside of my immediate mentor environment, um, I'm really interested in how plants interact with their environments. Um, and I think one of the big leaders in that field is uh, Joanne Corey. And I just think the way she's gone about um, her career is very inspiring. And so I kind of look to her as, as a, a role model in, in my field, I would say. The favorite thing about my job is definitely just problem solving uh, with all the people in my, my group. And um, I guess it's two favorite things. I love the problem solving of when you know, things are going, trying to get things on the right track, and um, it's really fun when they do get on track. And then also just having a group and then results coming in and being able to talk about them and, and um, discuss them with everyone. And it's just fun for the science to move forward as a team. There's lots of things that aren't ideal, um, but I would say that sometimes the job gets a little too busy and there's too many things going on at the exact same time. 
and it's just the nature of academia, um, and that's true at all levels, uh, that you can get overwhelmed sometimes, and I think um, you can't always plan when the deadlines are uh, in advance, and sometimes they're all at the same time, and so sometimes that can be, can be frustrating because, um, yeah, it can be over a little overwhelming. But that's true, I think, for, for all levels of academia. Identify the, the goal or the direction you want to go towards, and then within that, keep going. Um, so if you really want something, um, you have to have a determination because it's you're going to fall down a bunch of times on the path to that. And then if that goal changes, that's fine. Um, so it's 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 um, everything's hard uh, and everything's worth doing. So it's okay to pick yourself up and make a mistake. In five years' time, I see myself doing exactly what I'm doing now. Hopefully, I, I am growing my group now. Um, we um, are doing exciting science, and I'd, I'd love to just um, keep, keep doing those projects that we've started now. So it's a young group. We've only been around for a year and a half. So we have a whole bunch of start projects that are kind of starting up, and um, I see them uh, maturing in five years, and I'm really looking forward to that. So I have lots of uh, interests. I like Now that I'm based in Europe instead of the U.S., we've been traveling a lot, and um, it, there's so many places to travel in Europe that are very accessible. And then um, I do also like to keep active, so I play a lot of tennis, um, and in the winter, skiing and snowboarding.